50 people joining the Houston police force today. Police Chief Troy Finner says the graduating class is a very diverse group ready to serve. ABC 13's Derek Lewis is live in our newsroom now with more from the chief and these new badly needed officers, Derek. Yeah, Gina and Myra, the chief says diversity is important. Rachel Thomas, the class leader, says her background and who she is will help put the community at ease when it comes to law enforcement. Houston's newest police officers are ready to hit the streets. I think it's surreal. Like, yeah, it's, uh, I'm trying to take it all in. Rachel Thomas says the journey was tough. We will always uplift each other, and then our instructors will always uplift us. And just like they, the chief said, it's like a family. And it, it literally, that's what it feels like. Thursday, her family congratulated her on the new job. She says she's looking forward to being an officer. And as a black woman, diversity is important. You actually get to experience, like, okay, how to actually deal with this culture. It, it helps you want to learn more about others' cultures versus just, oh, I don't want to deal with it because it's not like me. Police Chief Troy Finner agrees. I always look at the heart, but you add a good heart with great diversity, you got a strong force. We are the most diverse city in the nation, um, so we need that diversity. Despite police responding to an increased number of gun violence calls around the city, the chief says it's about perspective. Most people are good, and, and, and people like to really concentrate on the negative. I'm the kind of person I look at the positive. The positive is we have great young men and women who are ready to serve and want to serve our agency. For Thomas, this job is bigger than her. I'll be there for others whenever they all have a bad day. Even if I'm having a bad day, I'll put my own side. Just, just being there for people. And uh, genuinely, like, give my all to, to people that, that may not be able to, to have a voice. Now, the chief says the department is still short-staffed. Despite 50 officers uh, cadets uh, graduating today, they are still recruiting. Live in the newsroom, I'm Derek Lewis, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Derek